Hey, welcome back to CBD. I am your pilot, JT. Today we're going to be talking about the Tyrannus X9D Plus and the ability to charge from the barrel plug. So, if, you, uh, if you've bought this, uh, then you know that it comes with, oh, let me see here. It comes with this little crappy battery. It's a uh, NIMH 2000 milliamp 7.2 volts um, and it lasts uh, about two or three hours if you're running non-stop it's pretty crappy so most people are upgrading to the uh, 2500 milliamp 3S LiPo battery and uh, that's what I've done here so once you've done that then you lose the ability to charge the to charge your battery from um, this charger here. So this plugs in to the side. You plug this into the wall. Takes like a week to charge, and um, yeah. So most people are upgrading to the LiPo battery, which means you have to pull it out hook it up to a charger and it's, it's a lot quicker but it's a pain in the ass to pull that thing in and out so you can't just switch the battery and then continue charging the same way you normally have uh, with the wall plug so um, if you do that it's probably going to catch fire blow your pack up screw up your radio plus I think the radio has a uh, a limiter in it and it's trying to adjust the voltage uh, like a voltage regulator so if you um, if you figure out a way to do that it's still going to fight with the uh, system that the radio has so what I was going to show you here is uh, that you can charge your lipo pack from the barrel the barrel connector sorry here I'm trying to put this uh, put this thing back together whoops all right so I'm gonna show you what I've got here Let me turn this thing around all right so I've opened up my radio and I'm gonna show you what I did um, this will allow you to use the barrel plug, but you're not going to use the wall charger. You cannot, that, that's not a LiPo charger. So you have to do a little bit of modification. It's very simple, it takes about 10 or 15 minutes, and um, you'll be good to go. You can use a regular uh, LiPo charger, but not have to take the pack out every single time you want to do it. So I'm going to show you what I've done. So this is the barrel plug here and what I've done is I've desoldered this little bit uh, I think this is like 30 yeah it's, I think it's around uh, 30 AWG wire and I put uh, 28 on it so then I also took um, XT30 plug because the XT60 It'll fit in here, but I had an XT30 sitting around, so that's the way I went. But I um, desoldered those those small wires, put some uh, heavier wire on it, and did the uh, XT30. And then this XT30, this side of it, goes directly to my battery. So, and and while this is hooked up. I can uh, just unplug it from here and pull my battery out if I need to. The cool thing is, is the X9D also has these little ports on the side here. So I have my power cable coming through here and my balance charger coming through here. Now, everybody says, oh, you can't do it because you, ha you have to uh, balance your battery every time. No, you don't have to balance your battery every time. Some manufacturers actually recommend against uh, balancing your battery every time because you're causing the cells to work at peak performance every single time 
but I do believe in balancing the battery so I'm actually going to be creating a port uh, on the side here that I'll be able to plug my balance charger in it'll all be flush mount and uh, but for now I haven't gotten that far because I'm waiting on some parts uh, but for now um, I've got the barrel connector hooked up and I have tested it and it does work I've tested it at one amp um, one amp at oh what is it hold on let me put this back in here damn it get out of the way there we go all right so I have tested it at uh, one amp and 11.1 uh, .1 volts that's what my battery is it's a 3s battery uh, but one thing you do have to make in order for this to work is what I did is I actually cut the barrel connector off of the stock wall charger and I did an XT30 there so I can then I then I also because I don't know if you can buy these these are the the venom plugs for the venom chargers um, but I made an XT30 plug there and uh, just like I would my battery I just plug it in connect that right to the radio and I'm charging so you can charge uh, you can use the barrel plug to charge a lipo battery without having to take that sucker in and out every single time you can also balance it if you want to put an extra port on the side I am going to I probably balance mine about every fifth charge and then uh, yeah I'll have the same thing without the annoyance of removing my battery every single time I want to charge my radio because I've moved up to crossfire I'm going through my battery a lot quicker um, than I normally would normally gosh I, I fly every day and normally that pack on a, on a regular S bus setup would last me about a week week and a half uh, now I'm finding that I'm charging about every other day so and I'm, I'm running a hundred hundred milliwatts um, so yeah if you have any questions sorry I didn't make a video to show you how I did it I mean it's it's pretty it's two wires I mean you're just making connections is all you're doing uh, just be careful that you are just be careful when you do make those connections because you are working with power lipo is not so stable so just be very careful I like to use uh, blue goo or, or putty type stuff and um, hold my wires in place so all right um, thanks for watching my video I hope this helps you guys if you have any questions uh, don't hesitate to comment I will definitely get back to you and until I see you next time my barrel connector plugging into my radio see I'm running that and running at one amp no balance, just a charge. Yeah, it's almost charged, so it's dropping the uh, voltage, but you've seen it hit uh, 0.9 amps there. And that's all. That's all uh, shrink wrap there. It's just clear shrink wrap. But, uh, yeah.